is forward. Saka is forward. Erdogan is forward. Oh, yes! Yeah! Samsung, baby, Lord, you're just so talented, baby. What is you doing? Run. Why are you running? Why are you running? Welcome back everybody to the Football Moments YouTube channel. And boys, it's been another match week and another Trent fail compilation for the streets. But the question needs to be asked, and as we all know on the Football Moments YouTube channel, we only ask the most important of questions. So today we ask, was Trent's defending versus Arsenal really that bad this weekend? So let's take a frame-by-frame -frame jog through his defensive involvements. And since we're talking about Trent, jog really is probably the best adjective that I could use to describe his defensive efforts. The first piece of defending we are going to look at is obviously going to be the goal from the first minute. And while I think the most egregious display of defending on this play is Henderson's recovery run and the shape that he took, which just allows Odegaard to get the ball and run at Liverpool's back four for free, there are a few things that stick out from Trent here that are rather unforgivable. As Trent was running back to defend the counter, he actually takes a few looks over his shoulder to check if Martinelli is running in behind him. And I don't know if he missed him on this second look or what, but after checking over his shoulder, he takes up a rather static defensive position that invites the through ball to be played between him and Matip. And Trent knows that Martinelli is making the run behind him. I mean, he turned and watched him start it. So he should be moving in a much more narrow direction towards his own goal here. But instead he breaks down, plants his feet in the ground, and then tries to dive to make an interception. That static position is what allowed the football of Arsenal to cut open Liverpool's back line. Coming back on the break, you typically want to be way more narrow and compact. That forces the other team to have to re recycle possession or play horizontally, which gives your team time to get back into your own defensive shape. At the very least, it gives Martinelli a much tougher attempt on goal. But instead, Trent's positioning here, and more specifically him breaking down into this static stance, invited the most dangerous pass to be played. And if you think that's bad, just wait, because I'm saving the worst defensive error for last. How many minutes did it take for Arsenal to score a goal from Trent's side again? Now in this next clip, Trent takes a break from getting cooked by Martinelli to get cooked by Jesus instead. What a generous defender, giving every Arsenal attacker equal opportunity to add to their highlight reels. And I think this clip is actually the most telling in analyzing not necessarily how bad Trent is, even though yes, Trent is awful here, but it more shows why Liverpool's press is becoming less and less effective this season. Jesus is juggling at the halfway line, coming back to his own goal. And there are four Liverpool players present in this area, and the touchline is nearby as well. In years past, this would instinctively and instantly be a situation where the press gets triggered. Trent should be keeping Jesus from beating him down the touchline and forcing him to come inside a bit more. Salah should come over here from the inside and they could win the ball back 2v1. Bobby should come and keep that short pass to Tomiyasu from happening and stop that pressure from being relieved. And Thiago could pinch over and stop anything through the midfield. This was a great opportunity to try and win the ball back high and start a counter with numbers. But Liverpool just no longer presses as a team in an organized unit like they did in years past. Now they just press as individuals. You could chalk it up to Klopp changing to a new system and running this 4-2-3-1 that sometimes looks more like a 4-2-4. You could chalk it up to the team being low on confidence, or maybe Salah and Trent both being out of form. And in reality, it's probably a mix of all of those things. But it's becoming more and more clear that Klopp not only has lost faith in his system, but also his pressing philosophies and personnel. And there's nothing that showed that more than not only this play, but also Klopp's negative move into a 4-4-2 in the second half, along with bizarre substitutions that he made when needing a goal. I mean, guys, they're down 3-2, need a goal, they're in this weird 4-4-2 that they've never played, Jota on the left mid, Henderson at right mid, and Klopp subs off Jota, one of the best goal scorers in the team, and plays Harvey Elliott out of position at left mid while leaving Jordan Henderson on at right mid. Harvey Elliott wants to be on that right side, cutting on to his left. Jota wants to be on that left side, cutting on to his right. And you're down a goal. You need to score. Jurgen Klopp 
has lost the plot. Anyways, those rants on Jurgen Klopp's weird decision making aside, Trent on this play was turned like a bottle top. Man's got put in the spin cycle. You would have to be a flat earther to deny rotation like this. And with one move, Jesus broke the press and put half of Liverpool's team out of the play. If I had to hire a bodyguard for my kids, and I was stuck between Trent Alexander-Arnold and a wet paper rag, then I would pick the rag, because it at least has a chance of getting caught up in the wind and blowing onto any assailant's face and blinding them for at least a short period of time. Oh, and that reminds me, a friendly reminder to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe, because all of those things help the channel a lot, and I do have kids to feed. Another play that stuck out to me in this match was here. With the ball on the edge of Liverpool's defensive third, Martinelli underhits a back pass to Tomiyasu, and instead of Trent going in strong to win the ball, this guy hops like a kangaroo and gets Meg. What is he doing jumping like this? He's a defender, not Bugs Bunny. But I mean, this was Looney Tunes defending, so if the shoe fits, this is the kind of play that would have the likes of Roy Keane fuming. There is no technical or tactical excuse for this mistake. Just simply a lack of aggression, desire, and passion to go in for a tackle that needs to be made. There is no passion, there is no vision, there is no aggression, there is no fucking mindset in this football club. And now it's the time that you've all been waiting for. The worst defending I've seen in the Premier League since the Harry Maguire era. Decision making so disgraceful, that a U14 would be embarrassed. You all know what it is, this goal before halftime. You know what, I take back what I said. This isn't just Harry Maguire levels of positional awareness. That's actually insulting to Harry Maguire. Guys, this is disgusting to watch. Liverpool are getting countered after a corner kick. They're down numbers, 4v3 running back to goal. And Trent completely abandons his central position to try and 2v1 Martinelli. But he runs on the outside of Jordan Henderson. This is a right-footed, inverted winger. Why on earth was he trying to run around the outside of Henderson to defend here? Especially while there is no one even central because of the corner kick. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? What did you do? Did he think that the center backs had gotten back so he was going to his regular position? Did he think Henderson was going to hard commit to forcing him out wide? Did he think that he could hide from having to put in a tackle by taking up this wider defensive position? What is it all about? It's a disgrace! Trent defends the borders of the Liverpool penalty area, worse than France defended their borders in World War II. I I'm actually out of words to describe what I think about this schoolboy defending. It's incompetent, it's naive, I, I I don't know what more I can say. This is every left winger in the Premier League when they realize they're coming up against Liverpool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video today. If you got this far in it, then obviously you liked the content. So subscribe, that way you don't miss the next video. And also leave a comment below on what you think about Trent. Whether he's just on a bad run, if he has always been this bad, or if you think these defensive issues are overblown. Oh, and leaving a like really helps the video perform a lot better too, and is one of the best ways to support the channel. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day today, and peace out guys. Take it easy.